We're here at the 2013 Steve Clarkson Field Generals Quarterback Camp at Cathedral High School. Steve, you've got some of the greatest quarterbacks in the nation out here in one camp. What are some of the things that you're trying to instill in these quarterbacks so that they can be more successful at the next level? Well, the thing we try to emphasize mainly at this particular camp is we always want to evolve. And so a lot of the things that we're doing in the early early stage, especially here in January, we're doing the King Weekend celebrate that we will always try to set the trend if you will. and so from this standpoint we're looking at how the game has changed over the last couple of years and so the kids that are going through the various stations throughout the camp the thing that we will embed in their heads more than anything is that one they're going to have to have flexibility to be able to absorb what we're teaching um, there are about eight coaches that work with me that have been with me for about 30 years we're constantly changing our craft and what our message so that when kids come to us they're getting the, the newest things out there and then things that we just sort of predict. Um, I've been doing this now for over 30 years and what I've found more than anything the kids especially who have started this process much earlier and I'm finding 10 and 11 year old kids that are really developed more like 14 and 15 year old kids because they pretty much train all year round. So the kids who are coming through this process are really really you know educated when they get here. And so when we get them, it makes our job a lot easier to basically take them to the next level. So we incorporate little things that, that they essentially wouldn't know are actually helping them, but organically, you know, even just something as simple as the Madden trucks, mm -hmm. you know, bringing them in and having them go at it, it's a huge learning tool for them and so the reactionary time and it makes them think. So when they're processing a play, when they come out here, it actually does transition. What are some of the biggest questions that you get from parents who want their kid to get more exposure, but who acknowledge the fact that the the level of the playing field has, has gotten that much more advanced? The the pool of talent is so much larger than it was in the past. What do you what do you advise parents on to get their kid to kind of like that extra step? Well, that's the the double edged sword because there's some kids. You know, number one, before you get exposure, you have to be ready for the exposure because if you. Or one of those kids, I see this nightmare all the time. You know, parents will, will make the mistake of taking their kid to every single camp, four or five different quarterback coaches, and then what happens is they get overexposed. Or and there's such a mis, you know, a, a mixed message that goes on with their with their child that it's hard to identify, you know, what this kid can possibly do because he's constantly changing. Well, I'm, this coach taught me this, this coach taught me that, this coach says I should do this combine, that combine, and then what happens is you get a guy that's just out there overexposed and everybody sees he's not ready and can't play and he's written off. So basically they're doing their jobs for him. So, you can, so the foundation is key. Before they can actually showcase what they can do, they gotta understand, they gotta be ready for it because in most cases, even at the earliest of ages, they only get one shot to do it. And that first impression means everything. So at the younger ages, you, you essentially look at a kid for what he could be versus what he is. You want to see what kind of, you know, how high is that ceiling. But, in, but the way kids are developing now, you can actually start to determine, you know, because so many kids have been doing it for such long periods of time, by the time they get to you at 12, 13 years old, you can almost now see what their ceiling is a lot clearer than what you did, you know, five, six years ago. Nowadays with student athletes, a, a lot of kids and a lot of parents are marketing their student athletes on their own. For example, our collegeofathletes.com website it allows kids to create recruit profiles, to put their YouTube videos up and create these profiles. What advice do you have to parents who want to get their kids out there if they're planning on creating a highlight video on their own at home or if they're planning on filming their kid doing certain things? What kind of things would you advise them to do and post videos to the internet? Well, the thing is, is uh, there's no Martin Scorsese here. Okay, so what they want to do is get to the point. Okay? You want to try to sell your kid in two minutes or less. That's the idea because the coach is going to go in there and he's going to see something. He wants to see it right now. So put your best plays first and be careful. Sometimes, you know, kids, they, they look at, well, we want to just have touchdowns up there. But sometimes, if you're a quarterback in particular, you may be making a highlight for the receiver and not necessarily yourself. So try to, in that two-minute storytelling, try to give whoever's whatever the, you're viewing your, your property, give them the whole picture. If you're able to show different sides of you in that span, that's great. But I think services like you provide, where you allow the parents to go in there and, and sort of promote their own kid in a strategic way, um, that's invaluable. Things like this didn't happen in, in, 
that's why I applaud your company for being able to give these kids access to things they wouldn't have had access to a few years ago. And it's cost savings. You know, uh, for sure. Well, we want to thank you. We definitely uh, applaud what you guys are doing, too, and we appreciate you letting us come out here to cover this wonderful event. We know that we've interviewed guys today from the classes of 2014, 15, 16, even 2017, who are definitely going to be great players down the line, and we look forward to you know watching their growth as you work with them and develop them more. Well, I appreciate your hard work, and uh, I will also add one more thing. We have this new league that started last year that it's called a throwback football. I encourage any parent that has an aspiring football player, not just for quarterbacks. We had three kids get Division I scholarship offers in their first year. We're going nationwide with it, and it's going to be the new normal. So you know, I encourage you know, parents, if you're involved, it's strictly a spring league. We look forward to having you guys come out. Well, you heard it first from Steve Clarkson at the 2013 Field Generals Camp. Check out the Throwback League. Google it. Look for more information about it on the collegelevelathletes.com website as well. Thank you, Steve. You got it. Thank you.